Welcome everyone. So my name is Marta Klimovic and today I will share with you some tips and uh, best practices and lessons learned on um, alignment uh, of uh, different teams like marketing, sales and customer success teams. So uh, if you work in the marketing area or the sales, you have probably have heard this assumption or the myth that there is the constant um, blame game between marketing and sales teams. So uh, there is the assumption that the marketing doesn't provide a good quality leads to the sales team. Therefore, the sales team cannot close any deals. And on the other hand, there is this blame blaming on the market on the sales team that they don't know how to close the deals and the marketing team provides them with really proper quality leads but uh, the sales team is too picky and they cannot do anything to close the deals. So uh, I'm not a fan of this uh, assumption and or this myth that uh, there is the need to have this constant war. However, if you take a look at this uh, number of Google search results, uh, it tells something. It proves that uh, this myth is pretty uh, widespread and many people not only uh, believe that this is uh, something that uh, is part of our reality but they also what is worse that some of them also believe that this is necessary for a proper uh, marketing and sales team to be at this constant war however i completely disagree with this uh, approach and i think that it not only doesn't support the business goals of any organization but it also really hurts the well-being of the team, of the team members, and generally of the whole organization. So uh, today I would like to share with you the best practices on how to do it differently. And they, uh, they are really practical. So the idea is that uh, each of you could implement them pretty easily, or at least uh, try to implement them in your organization with the support or, uh, of a senior person or of a manager of yours. And uh, what's important is the context that I'm speaking uh, from. So uh, I, am, uh, I work at uh, Montreal. We are a software development agency. So it means that we are a B2B agency. And uh, we've been on market for more than 11 years now. So uh, during this time, we grew to over 120 people. And uh, we also have managed to establish marketing sales and account managers in our team. So we have experts in all of these fields. So it's really important for you to understand that this is the perspective that I'm speaking uh, from. And I'm a head of growth here at Montreal. So, uh, I will share you with you in a minute what does it mean growth team in our setup. And uh, as mentioned, I will share some best practices and uh, the lessons learned uh, here at Montreal. And uh, I'm sure that uh, at least some of them will be relevant to you and your organization as well. So first of all, the something that really helped us was uh, creation of a single team. So we implemented, we introduced this growth team over two years ago. Uh, before that, we had people who are marketing experts. They work in the marketing team. There were people who were sales experts and they were working in the sales team. And they, there were account managers working in the account managers team. And uh, it worked. It worked pretty well. However, after some time, we reali realized that we need to work closer, that we are still working in the silos and the marketing team doesn't talk too much uh, with uh, the sales team. They don't have any common meetings. They don't uh, provide uh, feedback to each other. So we decided that uh, this is a good opportunity to change it. And we started with uh, and naming, but uh, the naming also influenced many other uh, areas of uh, how we work and uh, how our operations look like. So we created a single team. This is the growth team. At least this is some part of our growth team because unfortunately not everyone is in the, this picture. Uh, and uh, we still do have marketing team, customer success team, so people who are in the account management and the sales team. But what's important is that all of these teams, they are part of this bigger team, the growth team. So this name change, this creation of this implementation of the new team really helped us 
shift the mindset of each person who is in the team because now it's easier to understand that you are not only a part of a sales team or a marketing team or a customer success team but what is more you are a part of the growth team so it means that you are this team member and this all these people they are your teammates so you work with sales you work with marketing you work with account managers and uh, what's really important uh, with uh, this growth team creation, we also introduced one common goal for all growth team. So before that, we worked in a way that is pretty common that uh, there is uh, the one goal for the salesperson, there is uh, the other goal for the marketing team and uh, the other goal or maybe no goals at all for the account managers. And uh, this solution is not that bad because all in all, people uh, see the goal, they know what uh, they should focus on, they know uh, what is expected of them. However, when you have one common goal for this team, it really allows everyone to understand that they contribute to this final result and to see how the everyday struggles, challenges, and you know, hard work, how it contributes to this common goal. So. We have uh, the sales plan that is uh, introduced for each year and then it's divided into quarters and it's available for everyone in the growth team. So anyone can check it and can analyze what's the progress, how are we doing, is it better, is it worse than we uh, assumed. And uh, also we meet once every month to discuss the results and see what's the current situation, what's the uh, forecast for the next few months, uh, and then to have some discussions whether there are some changes to be implemented, whether we want to um, put some activities on hold, or maybe we want to introduce some other activities like marketing campaigns or new sales tactics. So not only we do have this one team, the growth team, but also there is this one common goal for the whole growth team, for the inbound sales, for the outbound sales, for the uh, any other sales uh, channel that we uh, have here at Montreal, and also for the customer success team. Uh, this one is one of my favorite, I would say, uh, because it's uh, really important and for me as a head of this uh, team to make sure that everyone understands what the other people, what do they do? How do they uh, everyday work look like? And uh, what are the, um, what is the general overview of their areas of expertise? So let me show you some example. Uh, a few weeks ago, I, par I was on a call with one of our clients to consult the growth strategy, because this is something that uh, I do from time to time, that I have this call with one of our clients to, find out whether they have some marketing needs, maybe they have some help, maybe they need some help when it comes to the, the, the content strategy or anything else. Uh, so I was on this call with a, a sales manager from our team and I was surprised because we received a, a few questions on how does the marketing work, what do you do in the marketing team, uh, what are the most common tactics that you use, etc, etc. And the sales manager person, Yannick, from my team, he was able to uh, address all these questions without any help from my side. So it proves that he really understands how does the marketing work, what do we do in the marketing team. So he is able to communicate with the marketing team using the proper language. He knows wh when to expect the re return on investment. He knows uh, what are the you know general daily uh, activities that the marketing team use in their uh, work. So he knows what is lead magnet. He understands uh, you know how long does it take for people to convert from leads, uh, from visitors to leads, etc., etc. And on the other hand, same applies to any other team. So also the marketing team members, they also understand what is the sales panel? What's the progress in sales panel? What are the life cycle stages of our leads? Obviously they know what is the lead, what's the deal, etc., etc. So they have this common language, even though they don't work in the same areas, they have different areas of expertise. They are still able to communicate and understand each other. So it really helps. And uh, what also supports this common understanding and this uh, uh, atmosphere or vibe of uh, 
uh, you know, this partnership in the team is making sure that uh, there is the transparency in the team. So there are no uh, silos, there are no, uh, I don't know, spreadsheets, forecasts or uh, plans that are available only to one team because it doesn't contribute to this common goal. So first of all, we use one customer relationship management tool and uh, everyone can log in into this tool and see what's the progress in the sales panel, how is uh, the customer success team doing, what are the next steps planned for each of the uh, leads that we have in uh, our funnel. So there are no secrets. Everyone uh, has an access to it. Everyone in the growth team can log in and check and see, you know, what the client wrote to us, what are they asking about, and uh, they can also, you know, s support someone. They can provide some feedback. But what's the most important is that they have an access to it, so they uh, can understand how others are doing, what they are focusing on, and uh, what's the general situation of the sales funnel. We also uh, have this one knowledge base tool. As you may see, it's not really that complex. It's the really simplest uh, spreadsheet file. Uh, but what is important, we make sure that all of the useful and important uh, files that are being created for each of the teams, so the sales, the marketing, the customer success team, that uh, all of them are uh, updated in this file. So uh, then when I am in the sales team, I can check you know, what are the marketing plans for this quarter, uh, what are the campaigns that the team is working on, what's the framework that they are implementing, so everything is here and it also really uh, helps when we are uh, onboarding a new team member. So then we can spend some time going through this uh, spreadsheet and they can be updated. They can have uh, this general overview of all the activities happening in each of the teams. And uh, we also use Slack, as uh, probably many of the teams around the world. And uh, we have this growth uh, channel on the Slack and we use it pretty extensively uh, for sharing different updates. So as you may see, we have these uh, video updates sometimes when we do fancy it and uh, we uh, you know, share some uh, plans in forms of uh, videos. Sometimes we uh, just put some simple text update, especially when we want to, you know, share with the rest of the team that there is a new case study, which are really important for the sales team uh, in our setup. And we also use this Slack channel for this uh, celebration moment, because uh, especially now when we are all working remotely, uh, it's really important uh, not to, you know, forget about this moment of celebration when everyone is really excited and we see that, yeah, our, our struggles really are paying off. So uh, we are sharing that we received a new review from the client, but also we are sharing some more uh, some more serious, let's, let's call it this way, updates on the tools that we use. So I've seen that one of you asked about the CRM tool that we use. So we use PyDrive. And uh, if you are interested in PyDrive, I may elaborate on this in a minute. Uh, however, we uh, also make sure that if there is any big uh, change in the setup of the tool that we use, if we, if we implement any new integration between the tools that we use, we also put this update on uh, the Slack channel so anyone can read it and they can enjoy or just be informed. And also when we are planning some events, internal one with our clients or we are introducing new, new campaign, we also make sure to put these updates every once in, a, I don't know, once or twice every month. Uh, so everyone on the channel will be updated, even if they don't go into too many details, even if they don't uh, click into the links that we provide them with. It's OK, because the, the general idea is there in the Slack, uh, Slack post so they can be informed and they can uh, have this feeling of belonging that they understand what is happening in the team and what are the area of focus for other teams. And uh, last but not, not least, uh, there is this mirror board that we use for the quarter and quarterly and uh, 
even longer plans. So uh, again, everyone in the team has an access to this tool and they can check what are the priorities for this quarter or for this second half of the year for marketing, customer success or sales. And what's important you may see is that uh, we use the same structure. So there are the strategic pillars that we focus on and there are the structure and priorities and area priorities. So anyone can check what are the recruitments that we are planning uh, for this quarter in the sales, or they can check what are the diversity activities that we plan in the customer success team. And they can comment on it. They can provide their feedback. They can uh, share some insights. They can uh, share some input from their side. So it's really helpful as well. And uh, the last uh, practice that I want to speak about is, you know, making sure to provide this to take take care of this constant feedback loop. So first of all, we have uh, each Monday. The, the whole growth team is meeting uh, and we discuss what's the current situation of the sales panel. So the sales team, they elaborate on each lead and they uh, answer marketing team's uh, questions. So they um, need to know uh, how did, did this lead find us? What uh, was uh, for them so interesting about us that they decided to reach out to us over you know, dozens of other agencies in the world. So it's really important that the sales team, they uh, have this ability, they have this opportunity to provide the marketing team with uh, really meaningful feedback. Therefore, the marketing team knows what is, uh, what's working, what should, should we do more? And maybe there are some activities that we should put on hold because they don't provide the leads uh, of the highest quality. And uh, we also do have one other <laughs> Slack channel is growth marketing. And as you may see, there is this feedback for marketing. So once uh, a person from the sales team finds out something interesting from the lead or from the client, they hear something that is worth sharing, they add it to our CRM, but it's also integrated with Slack. So uh, every time that there is new update in the uh, pipe drive, so the CRM that we use, the, the feedback also appears also on the Slack channel. And uh, sometimes it's uh, a moment for a celebration. Sometimes it's a moment, you know, for a reflection on what to do about this feedback and how we might implement uh, this into the um, marketing activities, marketing campaigns that uh, we are planning. So to summarize, uh, the best practices that work for us is to create a single team, make sure that everyone knows how other team mates, what's, the, uh, what's their area of expertise, how the, what does it mean that, uh, how does it, how does marketing or sales or customer success team work? Make sure that there is one common goal or goals for the team, uh, ensure the transparency and uh, enabling the constant feedback loop to everyone in the team. So that's it from my side and uh, Thank you very much. Do you have any questions? So I will be happy to answer them. Uh, okay, so I see that there is a question about CRM. So as mentioned before, we are using PyDrive and uh, there is a PyDrive uh, case study on our website, montreal.com. If you Google Montreal and uh, PyDrive, you will see um, the uh, more information on how we implemented PyDrive and how do we use it in our sales activities and why did we decide to switch to PyDrive Be because before that we were using another CRM so we have this uh, comparison uh, on our site. Uh, I don't see any other questions so that's it from my side. Thank you very much everyone. Mm -hmm.